what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here this is going to be a review for the 2018 film slenderman slenderman was directed by sylvain white the same guy who directed stomp the yard so i don't know why i was expecting so much from this movie when i already know that stomp the yard wasn't all that great either uh this film stars joey king and annalise baso those two those two young ladies you'll probably be more familiar with them out of any of the other people that are alongside them in this film uh, those two starred respectively in 2013's The Conjuring and Annalise Baso was in 2014's we Ouija. She was in Ouija Origin, Origins of Evil and Oculus. She was in Oculus. That's the film that a lot of you may recognize her from uh, Oculus and Ouija. And then Joey King, as I mentioned, she was in last year's Wish Upon and the cult film or the, the hit from 2013, The Conjuring. This movie is absolutely terrible. I do not this this review that I'm doing is probably going to be rather short as well because I do not know why I turned this movie on literally from start to finish just nothing but a bunch of bad acting inconsistent storytelling terrible visual effects uh piss poor CGI we barely even see the Slenderman and when he's on screen it's some of the worst uh it's like it's just glimpses of him in in the end and he's on screen for about a mere 10 seconds every time he comes in contact with one of these girls we don't know what his ultimate goal is here the movie never never makes sense of itself uh several things come and go in this film and that ranges from characters to plot devices uh to elements in the story that never get resolved there's just so much wrong with this film. It's not even funny. I don't know what was going on here. I don't know why I was even expecting something remotely good because it was done by Sony. Sony, I no longer trusted Sony after 2007 Spider-Man 3. I knew from that moment on I could no longer trust Sony as far as filmmaking goes. As far as their consoles are concerned, I will keep buying PlayStation, PlayStation consoles until the day I die. But for films, Sony is one of the worst film, film production companies I've ever seen. This movie right here is terrible. Uh, like I said before, it was directed by the same guy who directed Stomp Yard. I don't know why I was expecting something to blow me away with this film when I already know that Stomp the Yard was not all that great either. The movie was written by two different people and none of the girls in this film seem to be fleshed out. There's no character, there's no real character development because the main one of the girls the first girl that goes missing is katie played by annalise baso when she goes missing the other girls act like complete idiots and they have no idea how to get her back there's a whole bunch of backtracking on what's established earlier in the film several characters show up and then they go missing uh one girl in particular chloe played by jad sinclair she has an encounter with the slender man after the rules are stated to her but her her fear she's been she's aware of the myth surrounding Slenderman, but she still lets her fear allow her to do stupid things and then she comes in contact with the Slenderman because apparently once you come in contact with him that's how he gets in your mind and that's how he starts damaging you and taking over and taking you over to his side or whatever he's trying to do here like i said before the film makes no sense of itself or what Slenderman's ultimate goal here is uh, based on the popular 2009 meme, which I'm sure gave a lot more people, which gave, I'm sure that meme alone gave more people nightmares than this film ever will. The film is just downright terrible. There's several scenes in this film where it is so dark, you can try to turn up the brightness all you want to, you will not be able to see anything. It is, there are so many sequences where this film is so dark, it's like pitch black darkness. It looks so bad. The visual effects, like I like I made clear earlier, they are terrible. The acting is not even the acting isn't even acceptable. It's just downright terrible acting, terrible cinematography, ter a terrible. The the only saving graces here are the disturbing images that we see come across the screen at certain points. But but even that again, that's not really anything all that special because this film it tries to rip off uh, the ring. This movie basically is trying to do to the internet what the ring did to vhs tapes for those of us who grew up in that era because i grew up around vhs tapes well what was left of them uh so i was around when the ring came out so after seeing the ring i kind of did become a bit fearful of putting in certain disney movies but then again i was only around four or three when i saw the ring uh but back to this film i do not know what they were trying to do here the characters in here they're all boring and bland one girl has a boyfriend who has he does this weird there's this weird terrible looking effect of his face having some sort of seizure if you will 
it looks like he's struggling to let out some type of Ric Flair noise. That's me personally because I am a big wrestling fan. It looks like he's trying to let out a very, a very aggressive woo. I do not know why I turned this movie on. I do not know what is happening in half of it. The movie is very boring. It's very slow paced. The whole entire film is slow paced and never picks itself up at all. There's nothing intense here. Like I said before, the Slenderman is not a threat. I do not know what is scary about this thing. We do not even know what he's doing because he nothing has ever made sense. None of it ever makes sense. Characters come and go. Plot devices don't get don't get uh don't get fully developed. Characters aren't fully developed. The parents are non-existent. That's not really a that's really a nitpick at this point. This movie is just bad in more ways than one. I'm trying to not even get into any spoilers with this movie because I don't even feel it's worth it. In the future, I will probably do an in-depth review on the film. But as far as I'm concerned right now, I do not recommend this movie at all. This movie is not... God, I don't even know. It's right up there with Jeepers Creepers 3. It has to be... It might even be worse. I, I really do not know what this movie was trying to accomplish. It had a lot of potential. Uh, but then again, when I heard it, they were, trying to, they were making a film about a 2009 meme that's been dead for almost three years, I wasn't expecting much. So I'm not really surprised that this turned out to be a total disaster. If I were to rate this film on a scale of one to 10, I'd give it a solid three and a half, possibly a four, just for the few sequences and the disturbing imagery that we do see of Slenderman. Uh, four and a half or a solid four out of 10. Four out of 10 for me for this Slenderman adaptation. I do not recommend that you watch this film. If you have already seen Slenderman, let me know what you guys thought about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, subscribe and turn on post notifications. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it on all the social media accounts. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media platforms. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know what movies you would like me to review in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you for the next movie review.